How dare you walk out of so, super innovation and place. accept your invite already? I, park. I just go around, but then it started raining, so I had to come back. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why you came back. But yeah, if it's raining, you can't play Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I can try driving around, but it's really. All yeah. right. Anyway, uh, let's put running. Seeker back Was on the thing, there? and if he could stop oh, talking to his roommate, that. that would be great. It's Saturday. That was a lot of sense. <laughs> Seeker, you're back on. Yeah. You have me now. Okay. You you want to you want to have your roommate say hi? <laughs> uh, he's. Nah, it's, it's alright. <laughs> alright, then accept yes. the invitation and I'll go mute myself again. And you guys into, uh, entertain these people. I guess that's what you're paid for, except we don't pay you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to bring down the moon. Alright, Felipe, we're a little pissed here, but let's uh, let's continue to, to do this, okay? Well, what do you say? Let's do it, Innovation versus Sue. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but innovation is on match point right now. You are not wrong about that. The only set that he's dropped is on Cactus Valley. He won the Abyssal Reef game, he won the Newkirk Precinct game, and he won the Honor Grounds game. So you're right, innovation is on match point. And now, I'm going to be honest with you, Sue is going to have to do something different. His build... Curly isn't working. Innovation with his reactor Hellion Banshee into 3cc build is just too strong. Sue just doesn't have the economy necessary to out macro and out produce innovation. And we did see, we saw a great counterattack earlier on from Sue on Honor Grounds. He ran his Mutas and Lings into Innovation's third base and killed a lot of SCVs. But unfortunately for Sue, Innovation had reinforcements. That Map. He had army waiting at home because he knew it was coming. So we're going to see what Sue tries to do differently here in this game. Because if he tries to do the same thing, Innovation is going to know exactly what Sue's doing. And the Innovation is going to grab the 4-1 victory. Now, I, here's hoping that we are not going to see a 4-1 victory from Innovation. Now, looking at Bell Shear Vestige Ellie for our next map of the series, let's introduce our players. Starting in the bottom right-hand corner of Belshir Vestige LE, he is the dominant Zerg. Our red Zerg down 4-3-1 is Sue. And his opponent still not wearing a shirt. It is the Machine Innovation. And guys, I hope you realize, I, I, I don't know if this is true or not. I, I have no idea if Innovation is wearing a shirt or not, so don't quote me on that. Don't like go to Twitter and like tag me and then say like innovation is not wearing a shirt because if you do, I will vehemently deny it. Even though you guys, to prove me wrong, they probably already have the Twitch clips of it. Seeker, sorry. I you're they, you're they right. Know. You're it's probably already up on Reddit. I'm pretty much done. You know what, Felipe? It was nice to see me. Now, if you would like to help hiding. buy innovation a shirt. Uh, absolutely <laughs> go over and donate or use our code, which the chat mods will give to you, uh, for our Macharino page for this event. Was was Where... Innovation just a little too charitable? Did he take all his prize winnings in that SK talk? Buy gifts for girls and his family members, so he can't even afford a shirt now? <laughs> I mean, I guess that what's... That, that's what happens when you're the best StarCraft player in the world, getting a bit too, uh, bit too generous there. Alright, so I do like what Sue is doing here. Gurgling around the... And he avoided the Reaper's pathway, and cancelled... Or killed the SCV that was building the CC and delayed it. This is a great move from Sue. A lot of Zerg players like to do this on Belshir. This is why when you get that first Reaper out, you can't move right away. You have to move towards a different path to try to catch the links while they're moving into your base. So Sue did a great job of delaying the hatchery. Uh, Command Center. Wow, Sue's Sue, Sue, Felipe, I can't talk. <laughs> now, Sue, of course, going for a little more aggression, there is able to delay that hatchery and actually, or that Command Center. Wow, you got me doing it. Wow, Seeker. Wow. <laughs> and get that uh, reactor into the red, get it burning down. 
and that is all because of this map. Belshire Vestige is such an interesting map. I like it a lot. It really changes up uh, the third style in this matchup. What do you think, yeah. Sager? Well, Felipe, uh, earlier on, pronounce things too and, and say things wrong, and that just shows we're in sync. That we're we're getting there. You know, we're like arconning it up because we're both messing up at the same time, right? So that's good this for us. Oh yeah, no, that's good for us. That's good for us. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and talk. Okay, you know, what we're seeing here, right? Is we're not seeing reactive hellions. We're not seeing the cloak banshee follow up. What we're seeing is something very different. He's got the medevac out. He's got uh, he's got marines and widow mine in his medevac. So he's going to do something a little different this game, which could be exactly what he was aiming for because he knows that Sue knows that he does the hellion issue build a lot. So Sue may be preparing for that build, but instead we're going to get something completely different here. Let's see if Sue is properly prepared for that. He does. The Zerglings were right in position to stave off that medevac there. Did not quite get the drop that Innovation was hoping for with those Marines and that Widow Mine there. Yeah, honestly, with this drop, since Sue now knows that Innovation is doing this, he should just fly straight to the third base, drop the Widow Mine in the pressure uh, instead of trying to go for the main base of the Natural, because the, the, the main base of the Natural is just going to be way, way too well defended at this point. And we do see Innovation going up to 3 CCs, going up to that 3 racks, the very same things that we've seen him do this entire time. So we're going to see, you know, a bit, a bit of the same things. We just don't see a Hellion, react, or Reactor and Hellion uh, Coach Banshee opening this from Innovation. But we are seeing, we're seeing the players do, you know, very similar things. And now it's going to be up to both of these guys to figure out what is it that I, what, what do I want how do I want this game to progress? And, and honestly, in Innovation's case, after he establishes third command center, he's going to have a very hard time establishing fourth because Belshire Vestige is with well, the fact that it's very difficult for Terrence to establish a fourth base. It's so hard to defend, and you have to travel such a long distance to defend it. Sue's definitely going to take advantage of that, and he's going to run his units around the map and keep hitting Innovation from all sides. So Innovation has to do the same thing he did on Autograph. End this game at the 10 minute mark. We just got a $20 donation from Asker. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Big thank you to that. You are helping us support these players. Thank you so much for your. Keep it coming. I know you love your money. But these guys deserve it. They work so hard and put on such fantastic games that you like Felipe. If I had a hundred dollars to give out, I, the first players I would give it to would be Innovation. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more, Seeker. And speaking of Innovation, it's Sue. Innovation is moving here, pulling those drones off the line and firing upon this hatchery here. A couple of drones and files going down, but it looks like Innovation has dodged those. And they are just landing on the third wing. Ravagers getting taken out. Drones actually being forced to fight here. Mineral walking in there, getting a trying to get a surround there, but it is just a little bit too much for uh for Sue to deal with so many not even so many Marines, just so well controlled are these Marines good uh transfuse on that Ravager, that Ravager is finally gonna go down. A few Zerglings are here, but with this medevac support, innovation takes game number Five and I believe takes the series. Innovation absolutely does take the series, and this is what I was talking about. Innovation understands Sue so well. They played together so many times. Innovation understands when he needs to move out, when he needs to apply the pressure. He just had way too many units. He hit right before Sue was gonna get out a nice number of Banelings, and it just just completely crushed his opponent on Belshire. <laughs> 